Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the next conversion of uh, conversion of Miele machine into Mure machine and then we can say that Mure and Miele machine are equivalent to each other. In my previous video we already discussed that how we convert the Mure machine into Miele and in this video we are going to discuss that how we convert a Miele machine into Mure. So there are some steps to be followed while converting a Miele machine into Mure. So what are the steps? First step is that we st always start with the initial state, okay. Then the second step is that we check for input 0 or 1, 1 by 1. First we consider 0 input and when then we consider 1 input or A or B whatever be the uh, input. Then we check that what is the next state with the particular input and move the output from transition to that state. In the previous conversion from Mure to Miele, we move the transition from state to the, we move the, uh, sorry, we move the output from the state to the transition. Now in this conversion, we move, we move the output from transition to the state because in the Mure machine, the output is associated with the state. Now the third step is that we continue this process for the next state one by one, okay. So, we consider one example. So, this is a state, uh, sorry, this is a finite automata and this is a Miele machine. Why? Because here Z1, Z2 are output which are associated with the transition, not with the state. Okay, Th that's why this is a Miele machine. So, with, we have to convert this Miele machine into Mure machine while uh, moving this output Z1, Z2, Z1, 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 Z2 these output we have to move from in transition to the particular state, okay. So uh, the main part is that this question comes in uh, in the university exam of 2017-18 and this is a very important question that uh, we have to convert this Miele machine into Mure machine. So the first step see here, the first step is that we start with the initial state. Here Q1 is the initial state then how we convert it, convert this? See here, we start with the Q1 state, okay, initially the initial state is Q1, therefore we move, we take the Q1 state. Now the second step is that we check the input 0 or 1, 1 by 1 and what is the next state, check what is the next state and move the output from transition to that state. See here, from Q1, from Q1 there are two outputs 0 and 1, okay. So first we consider the 0, see Q1 with 0 input it moved to the next state Q2, so with, uh, with the output Z1, so we move this output from transition to the state. This means with 0 input, now this Q2 is associated with this Z1, okay. Now we consider with the next input that is 1. See Q1 with one input it moved to the next state that is Q3. So this output Z1 is moved from, from this transition to this state. Means we create a new state that is Q3 with Z1 in output and with the input 1. Okay. Now the third step is we continue this process for the next all the next state one by one. So the next state we can consider whether it is Q2 or Q3. So I am taking Q3 first. See here Q3 again have two input one is 0 and another one is 1. So from for the, uh, for the input 0, Q3 with 0 input it moved to the Q2 state with the output Z1. Okay. So see here we have a Q2 state with the Z1 in output. So we make it as 0 input. Now from Q3 with 1 input it move in the same state that is Q3 but with the Z2 output. See here we have a state Q3 but not with the Z2 uh, output it, it has a Z1. So we create a new state that is Q3 with a Z2 output and we move this transition with the 1 input. Okay. Now 
For this Q3, we have to consider the basic Q3 state for 0 as well as 1 state. So for Q3 with 0 input, it moved to the Q2 state with Z1 output. So Q2 with Z1 output we already have. So we create here with 0 input. Now for Q3 with 1 output, it will remain in the same state Q3 with Z2 output. So Q3, Z2. Q3, Z2 we have already have this state. So we create a state transition that is for 1. Now the remaining state will be Q2. So here Q2 will have 0 input as well as 1 input. So first we consider the 0. So Q2 with 0 input, it remain in the same state Q2 with Z2 output. See here we have a state Q2 but with the Z1 in output. So we create a new state Q2 with Z2 output and with the transition 0. Okay. Now from Q2 with 1 output, sorry 1 input, we move to the Q3 state with Z1. So we already have Q3 with Z1. So we create a state transition 1 from this state. So see here, all the states except Q1, all the state Q2, Z1, Q2, Z2, Q3, Z1, Q3, Z2. So all the states is associated with some output. That's why this is called Moore machine. But the exception here is that Q1, Q1 state which is the initial state it do not associate it with any output. Why it is so? Because in the melee machine Q1 state do not have any incoming state. That's why in the melee, in the Moore machine Q1 does not associate it with the any output. So we can but we can write in the Q1 state as uh, with output uh, we can associate this q1 state with z1 or z2 whatever be you, whatever be your choice because because in the conversion q1 does not consist any as output because in the basic in the melee machine q0 does not uh, q0 do not contain any incoming edge so this is the answer and this is how we convert a melee machine into mori so from this video and from the last video, we can convert a Miele machine into Moore machine and a Moore machine into a Miele machine. Therefore, we can say that that Miele and Moore means both the machine with the final automata with output are equivalent to each other. So if you have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section and keep watching our video. Thank you so much.